What's up, everybody? Welcome to my review of the Westside Discs VIP Long Bowman. This one is max weight at 175 grams. Nice, solid disc. Happy to get another Westside Discs review here on my channel. I feel like they've got some great molds in their lineup, and I was happy to uh, test out another one. Big thank you to Dynamic Discs for sponsoring this review. Go check out the description below, dynamicdiscs.com. Pretty easy to remember. I'm sure you guys already went to the, to the website, but go check them out if you need any Trilogy plastic all the DD bags and accessories and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate them working with me, not only on uh, Dynamic Discs reviews, but also hooking me up with some sweet West Side plastic to test and review as well. So take a look at this guy. West Side Discs, Long Bowman. I like how this one's um, got that super uh, tight circles um, foil stamp to it. Actually, it kind of makes it look like a almost like a constellation or something like that. It's pretty cool. Here's a look at your flight numbers. A little hard to read there, but 9403. I'd say those are pretty close. Um, the fade maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less from my testing, but we'll get back to that in a little bit. Let's take a look at the rim profile on this guy. Relatively flat top. It's kind of glossy, so I'm having a little bit of trouble showing that to you guys. Relatively flat top on this thing, no real dome to it whatsoever. It's got a really nice, smooth, comfortable, rounded profile. It kind of reminds me um, of the Queen from West Side. Had a really, really comfortable, nicely smooth, contoured outer edge that just feels really nice in the hand. This disc is like that. It's a smaller rim, but it's got that really, really smooth, comfortable feel. The VIP plastic is the same as Opto or Lucid. Great plastic, super durable, bright colors, good blend of grip and durability. One of the best uh, driver, and particularly for drivers and mid-ranges, one of the best plastic types on the market as far as I'm concerned. Uh, great stuff. 175 grams for this thing. If I can show you the weight, I'll take my word for it. Hey, I got it. There it is. So, yeah, good feeling disc in the hand though. I dig it. It feels good in the power grip. You can actually see that pretty good. And a uh, very nice smooth contour there. Let's throw it up next to a Convict. Convict on the top there and Long Bowman on the bottom. They look quite different in uh, design but they're not super different in flight. Let's throw it up next to a Culverin. Culverin on the bottom obviously. Um, yeah, just as a quick side-by-side. -side. Let's do all three of these. I'm going to reference the flight of all three of these in this di in this disc review, so I want to put them up next to each other real quick, just so you can get a, get a sense. All right, so let's compare it to these other discs real quick. You can find my review on the Convict, where I kind of re compare it to the Culverin. Also, I have a review on the Culverin, of course. I would say Culverin and the Convict both have a little bit more fade. And I would say that the Convict has a little bit more turn, natural turn, than the other two. Just a little bit. It might fade a little harder than, than the Culverin. So, uh, but that being said, the West Side Disc Long Bowman has a little bit less fade than the Convict and the Culverin from my testing. Not a whole lot less, but just a, it seems a little bit less um, of a dropping kind of fade, where it actually kind of sweeps out forward and finishes nice and smooth, consistent to the left, but not like something that drops off the line. Um, I would say the, the speed and the glide are both pretty pretty dead on. Uh, nine and four, I think, I think that's pretty close. I see very little natural turn from this disc whatsoever. It's one of those discs that will just hold straight up to speed for me and my, and my power and have that nice consistent finish at the end. Smooth, control fairway driver shots that I, I can want I want to throw maybe into a, a little headwind or something like that or something that I, I cannot risk it flipping over accidentally I can put a strong pull on this thing even a little Anheuser I'm not getting it to hold that turnover at all maybe just ride out and then end up flexing back it's not like a super overstable disc but it's very consistent and it's a solid workhorse disc honestly it's another one of those things where if you're interested in these three molds if you have the capability to hold each one of them in your hand, go with whatever, whichever one feels best in your hand and see how it works for you. There's a good chance they're all going to fill a similar role in your bag. That kind of control, accuracy shot with a little hyzer finish at the end of it, smooth fairway driver hyzers, and little flex shots, gentle headwinds, that sort of thing. Just a solid, um, kind of lightly overstable, 
Workhorse Fairway Driver. That's my review on the Long Bowman. Solid disc. I will check you guys later. Cheers.